Sean is in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Hi, Sean. Welcome to the Entree Leadership Podcast. Hey, Dave. Thanks for having me. Sure. Hey, uh, my question, uh, first of all, I'm a, uh, a partner. We, uh, my two brothers and I own a small family business. We're environmental consultants in the southwest Louisiana area. We do uh, potable water and sanitary sewer treatment. We have uh, 15 employees. We do about $3 million in revenue. Good for you. And um, our, uh, a big passion we have, a big desire we have is uh, to eliminate all of our debt as a company and um, as well as personal and uh, one of the things that we can't seem to, to cut out are the company credit cards. Um, so I was wondering how you as a, a major business uh, have seemed to operate without company credit cards and still allow employees to make purchases uh, where needed. Uh, we use company debit cards. Does the same yes, thing your credit card does. Sure. So I've reached out to several local banks. Uh, we currently bank with the National Bank, and um, uh, our National Bank is uh, basically tells us that we uh, cannot issue debit cards to employees unless they're signers uh, on the account. And obviously, I don't want to have all fifteen of my employees. Uh, well, that's not being true. Able to sign. I mean, they they don't they 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 will not, but they can. Cannot is not correct. Because my, I guarantee you, my dad gum employees are not signed. I got seventy eight or eighty two or something like that debit cards this week running around this place, and I'll guarantee you they're not signers on the account. Um, now I have to sign the as the signer on the account. I have to sign to approve the card to be issued, but um, it's a regional bank. It's not a national bank. I don't screw with stupid Bank of America. They're awful. Um, I mean, I deal with a local regional. Bank. It's of good size. It's not a tiny bank, but it's not. It's not one of these massive fifth thirds or something. I can't stand those people. So, um, right. you know, because they 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 kept giving me answers like you're talking about. Because I was even though we're running a three hundred million dollar business, we were still a small fish in their ridiculous ocean, and I don't want to be treated that way. So I'm a big enough fish that I can get them to do whatever the flip I want. Um, but I'm not. I don't own the bank either. So uh, you can find somebody that'll do it if you want to do it. But if you don't want to do it, then you can just have credit cards. It's the same risk either way. The employee can right. run up fraudulent crap. The employee can do unauthorized charges on either, and you're responsible for them. Right. The only thing you could do is sue the employee, but the bank, you can't get out. You can't claim my employee bought something that wasn't authorized, and that's fraud. It's not fraud. It's finan it's employee misbehaving. That's different than fraud. You gave them the card. You gave them the right to sign it. Whether it's a debit card or a credit card, you're responsible for what they put on it. Right. And um, what we were, my personal desire, because I know my, you know, my business debt is my personal debt, and so my social is tied to that card. And I'm trying to uh, working through your baby steps, and I'm trying to eventually get to where I have a zero credit score. And so with my name being on that card. I'm trying to eliminate all the credit cards as much as possible. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So I just think you hadn't found a new bank yet. That's probably the answer. You know, we it, we need to go. And yeah, you're just going to have to go shopping and go, later. guys, this is a deal what we want to do. I know it's unusual. It is unusual. Mm -hmm. I, we may be the only one at our bank that does it. Right. And they're a pretty good sized bank. Um, but I, right. that doesn't bother me. I mean, it's kind of almost a badge of honor. You know, it's like. Right. So, but yeah. So I, but, they but, don't have a. Uh, like a pen, they can go withdraw cash at ATM, or it's, no. it's they don't have that control no. or ability. No, I'm looking at one of my VPs sitting here right now. He's got a card in his wallet, right, Jason? I'm looking at him through the glass as I'm doing this, and he he can't do nothing except use the money that's in my account on that debit card. If he misuses okay. it, eh, he's got a problem then. But um, right. me and him are gonna have a discussion. But you know, but no, he would never do that. That's why he has a card. So I, I you know, careful who we give them to. But guess what? That's true with your credit card. If you carry credit card too, you're still responsible. Right, right. We were just uh, you know. I'll tell you. About... Let me tell you something weird as a side, just for the list of, rest of everybody else that are out there listening. Because we use debit cards, we are positive that our team members that have a debit card understand first that they are using actual money coming out of our checking account when they use that card. And because of that, they're more careful. Right. 
because it's not only going to show up in their name, in their P&L, in their area, in the accounting system, but they're conscious that it's cash. It's not right. charge. And so they're, they, it's almost like they're sp walking around with a fistful of $100 bills in an envelope, and they go, oh, God, I got a report for this money, and this is like real money we're spending, even though it's on the business and it's not my money. They still have this different layer of responsibility that you don't have when it's a stupid credit card. So I think you're going to find you spend less when you convert. I think some of the, uh, air quotes, corporate charges might be there. And I'll guarantee you this, our CFO and our controller and the other people looking over the debit card charges when they come in, they look down and see a 23 martini lunch, which doesn't happen. But if they were to look down and see that, like this is an, a ridiculous charge, it's another layer of accountability to leadership on how they're running their area. Because the money is being, you know, the money's been handled poorly. It shows up there. And so, and for some reason, we're all a little bit more sensitive about it because it's like real freaking money. It's real cash coming out of my real checking account. So, yeah, I think, especially in a 15-person operation, you may even feel it more dramatically. It may only be a percentage, but it, I mean, a, a you know, percentage of the dollars, but I think you'll notice and go, hmm, there's a different, there's a cultural shift in the way we look at our expense accounts around here, the way we look at company lunches around here, the way we look at taking a client out and what is charged and, you know, oh, look at that. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're going to find that. So I, I would pursue a different bank, which sounds like you needed to anyway. <laughs> oh, I hate those banks. Those monster banks, they just got no soul. None whatsoever. Yeah. <sighs> This is the Entree Leadership Podcast.